When marketing a local service business, there are a lot of things you need to do. But more importantly, there are a lot of things you need to stop doing. Today, we're talking about step number two of six things you need to stop doing when marketing your local service business. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, helping you market, simplify, and impact your business. Right now, we're in the middle of our series of six things you need to stop doing when marketing your local service business. If you want this free PDF, I will put a link to the description area below and you can go and get that. Now, if you remember, in step one, we talked about you as a business owner, spreading yourself too thin, trying to market between video marketing, SEO, blogging, email, ads, Facebook marketing, whatever it might be. Add 10 more to that. You're probably trying a bit of it all. And if you want to watch that video up in the upper right hand corner, you will see a link to that. But today I want you to concentrate on the second step. And the second step is you need to find out which one of these is working for you and your business. Now I get very, very serious when I talk about this specific topic and the topic is tracking. Now, please don't, don't close the video yet. I know you'll probably hear this from a lot of people. You might even get lectured to. I may even do some lecturing again, but I want to tell you a story and I want you to understand why. I work with hundreds of service businesses. Some of them are very small, single per person operations. Some of them are very large. And the companies that I work with that are the most successful and the ones that grow the fastest and the ones that have the most uh, market share are the ones who know exactly where their business is coming from. And I mean down to the penny. They know how much time and money they're spending on their ads. They know how much time and money they're spending on their social media. They know exactly how much money when they send out an email, how much that brings in. And I know that can sound overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. The best part is it's extremely easy, but the most important thing to know about this is once you know where your money and your efforts are going, once you know what's working, you can take and you can cross off some of these ones that aren't working and you can put your money and your efforts towards the ones that are. And to tell you a little bit more about that client I was talking about, this is a guy who started a plumbing business and he started just like everybody else. He had one truck and then he built it up to two and he built it up to three and four and so on. He built this business up to 14 trucks. Now the issue was, is that as a plumber, a lot of the times he had to deal with broken water mains. So they would have to dig down. Well, they already had the equipment for this, but if they weren't digging a water main, they literally uh, would have that equipment just sitting there gathering dust. So he decided, you know what? I'm gonna start an excavation company. They already had the equipment. He just needed to hire an employee to do it. Now that had started to grow. But between the two businesses, he had a lot of trucks, a lot of breakdowns, a lot of servicing that needed to be done. So we hired a mechanic because taking all these trucks in constantly was costing a small fortune. And then the mechanic got all the trucks and they were all running pretty well. The fact that, you know, he didn't have a lot of extra things to do during the day. So they decided to start an auto repair company. And I'm not making this up. He started an auto repair company and started bringing in vehicles to keep that service guy busy. But the way he was able to do this is because when we first had our initial conversation about working together, I would say, what are you doing for your marketing? What's working? And his exact comment was, well, we are getting 85% of our business from ads. We are getting 5% of our business from referrals. We're getting 8% from Google business listings. And he was able to rattle all of them off. He knew exactly what was working. Now, does that mean he didn't do these other things? Absolutely not. But he took the bulk of his money and put it towards what was working. He took 80% of his marketing budget, put it towards what was working and took the other 20% and he would play around with that and try other things. So how do you track which marketing channel is working best in your service business? You ask, and I can feel you some of rolling your eyes right now. But what I mean is when I talk to all these business owners, we start to sit down and say, all right, what's working for marketing your service business right now? And they will tell me inevitably one or two things and they'll say, that's what's working. And I will say, how do you know? Let me give you an example. I talked to somebody last week and I said, okay, what's working for you now? And he goes, we're getting all of our business off of social media. Okay, how do you know that? 
Well, because whenever I do a post, the phone rings. Number one, when the phone rings is not a way to track it. I can't tell you how many times I talk to clients and they say, well, I put a post out there and the phone rings right when I do it. They automatically assume that that's where it came from. 90% of the time, that is incorrect. The easiest way to track what's working in your service business is whoever answers the phone. And here's how the conversation will go. Hi, ABC company, how can I help you? And the client will say, oh, I need to, you know, I need to have a, hire a plumber. Okay, great. Can I ask you one thing real quick? How did you hear about us? Now, the person on the other end of the phone may say, well, I saw, I got an email. I uh, saw you, um, I saw an ad on a billboard. I, I saw, I looked up plumber on Google and that's, you know, and your ad popped up. Okay, great. So when you typed in plumber, uh, did you click on one of the ads at the top or did you scroll a little way down? Oh, I, um, I saw you in that map section. Great. Thanks for being patient with us. We just like to see uh, where our service marketing dollars are going. That's it. Whoever's answering the phone makes a note of that, that they saw us in the maps area, which is your Google business listing. If they say, I saw you, I typed in plumber and I saw you at the top in one of those ad areas, they clicked on that, that's an ad. And you write this down and you keep track of where every single one of your leads comes from. Oh, you got a referral from Susan Smith? Thanks so much. Oh, you were a previous customer? Awesome. Now, I know this might sound like a lot of work, but we do have a lead tracking spreadsheet. You can have this for free. I have literally given this lead tracking spreadsheet to over a thousand people who have requested it. All you do is you list in the date, the lead source, and what you do is you go down here and you list in the sources. Like for instance, on this example, I've got Google ads, Facebook ads, referrals, BNI, which is a networking group, website, um, you know, whether that person found out from me or my family member, a partner, or like YouTube marketing. You put in, when you fill all these in, you just go up here and as you get to the next uh, box, you click uh, whichever referral source they came in from. So let's say it was a referral. You can put a referral from, and you can say Susan Smith. Here's their name, their email, their phone number, uh, how much you quoted them. Did you uh, close the deal? Is the deal dead or uh, alive? And you can track what deals are working. At the end of the month, you can say, all right, I got five leads uh, from my Google ads. We made $2,000. How much you got in your Google ads, your referrals, your website, and you can track where every single dollar of your marketing is going. So if you want that lead tracking spreadsheet, I will put a link for it in the description area below. There's also a video that shows you exactly how to use it and it will actually compile all of your leads, all of your revenue, all on one page so you can see, um, you know, kind of an overview of what's working and what's not. So are you tracking all of your leads? Do me a favor, let me know in the comment area below. I'd love to hear. Let me know, yes, I'm tracking, tracking some or not tracking at all. I'd love to see those responses. And if you like videos like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of when we release new videos each and every week. And as soon as that video is ready, if you want to see step three of what to stop doing when you're marketing your service business, over to the right-hand side, you'll see that video as well as another related video. And remember, if you want to, go download our PDF. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.